A very good morning to you. Welcome back to Full Circle with Wikali. We are talking about sure. fighting the healthy fights. You know, having them in a healthy way because they will always be there in your relationship, in your marriage. And we are throwing the questions to you. The question today is, I, do you feel like you're fighting in a good way? Have the fights been unhealthy? Do you feel like there's, there's need for change in there? Are you going through something right now and you're feeling this conversation is exactly what I need? You can share your stories with us, your questions with us as well, triple one, triple four, triple one. And I see your comments on Facebook. Uh, Jackson Mary says, we talk about it and we cry where necessary, laugh if need be, apologize, hug, kiss, and boom, we forget it and move on. But if it's so serious, I just leave fast, take an hour, walk to calm down, and dance to calm down, then we start solving it. I beautiful. like that. This yeah. is really nice. That's I beautiful. I like that. She's found Dance. what works. Yeah. yeah. That is huh. so beautiful. <laughs> I just went See, up. they found a formula that yeah, works. Yeah, exactly. that that's works perfect. for them. Yes. yes, that's beautiful. Okay. After everyone is a um, mepata monologue, uh, we begin by acknowledging our mistakes individually, then boom, work made easier. So I think the more you run, you run, you run, you run, you run, you run, and then we find a solution. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Please share your solutions. I might just pick one as we go. Like I told you, explosive will sweep things under the rugs. <laughs> so there's, <laughs> there's one here says, Good morning, Wix. I'm loving today's conversation. My husband and I used to have a lot of arguments some few months ago, but the main problem was because my communication was really bad. Mm. But nowadays I've learned how to voice how I feel, and now I'll even wake him up at, at, at midnight to tell him what he said or did that really hurt my feelings. I am Mama Mongai. And I'm watching from Kasarani. Beautiful. I love that she doesn't sleep with it inside. And I love her husband lets her wake him up to be able to take it out so she can yeah. sleep well. Oh, that's beautiful. I think it is beautiful. And another that's thing that, that Shazmin and I and Mama Mungai would like to hear is this. Is that when Shazmin is now telling me anything that's been wrong, okay, what she'll do is it won't be long, drawn out, sore, mm. painful, including history. Do you know what I mean? What she'll do is, she'll do it in the nicest way possible, in the most amazing way possible, coming from the best place in her heart and her mind, so that the message is got. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yes. And then she feels complete about it. So something that you might want to try is that, try, try t look, I I'll tell you something. I've, I've realized something about guys. is They are a bit absent-minded. You know, they, they, they're not as... They're like a radio that's tuned into 96. It's not 96.3 or 96.4 or mm. 0.5. So that fine tuning uh, is something that just constantly needs to happen on a daily basis from two sides. Like Shazmin, she doesn't stay vocal. She stays vocal. Like when she'll keep me check and she'll make me understand that this is missing or that's missing or I need this or I need that. And then the other part of sharpening is where a man needs to be aware himself. You know, where you need to be attuned to your wife. And when you're good, I'll give you an example. If I've had a bad day at work and I'm in the car and I'm going home, I immediately start thinking to myself, hang on, I'm not going to walk into the house with this boot. Oh. Because my wife hasn't done anything wrong for it. Mm. Secondly, is it too heavy for me to bear? And if it is, then I need to share it with her. Do you know what I mean? So I'll fix up my face, I'll fix up my mood and everything else, but I'll think about how I want to communicate it to her. Why? Because I have the power now to bring her down completely. That's true. Now, do I want the support and the nourishment or do I want a pity party where I want to bring her down? You know? So if you can evaluate all these things and understand that, hey, hang on a second, I know if I talk to my wife in the right tone, in the right mood about this problem, she'll actually bring God into it and she'll support me, and over a cup of tea, I will feel fantastic. Now, that's where you've got to think maturely about how you want to communicate. Mm. Because the whole evening can go wrong if you want a pity party. Do you know what I mean? Yes. You can throw blame, you can do this, <coughs> you can spoil her mood. So you've got to be very careful about how you do things and, and, and you know control the mood in the house as well. Okay. So okay. what you bring to the house is very important. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Kuna nyengini hapa. Morning, Wikali. Great topic today. My wife gives me silent treatment when we fight. She doesn't talk to me in weeks. I would say to something like that, it's probably because she's in so much pain. And you know, the biggest thing Mo and I have learned is 
if any one of us is upset, we have the power to make each other feel beautiful, to make each other feel better. Why do we have these rules in a relationship where I can't approach you 50 times? I can't, I can't come to you and just make sure you're loved or let you know you're loved in so many different ways. If she hasn't talked to you in weeks, it's probably because she has tried talking to you so much that somewhere deep inside she has painfully resigned. Mm. This won't change. What's the point? I rather just keep quiet. I'll sort out myself. And for men to realize, you know, women are emotional. That's our beauty. You know, the craziness of our emotion is our power. It's what allows us to be mothers and nurturing. But at the same time, imagine what it takes to suppress all that emotion and turn around to say, it's okay. I'm, I'm going to leave it. He won't change. This won't change. That's taken a lot. So I would turn around and tell you, do something special for her, not in form of a gift, in form of time. Okay. Take her out for a beautiful meal, a beautiful coffee, and tell her, I want to hear you. I want to hear your silence. If you don't want to talk, I'm here to spend time in your silence. But this silence is not going on anymore. This silence is here for a reason, and I'm going to sit here, I'm going to understand it, and don't take it personally. A lot of the times when a woman starts talking, a man will take it personally. She's not attacking you. Give her room to let it come out. And I promise you, what comes out at first is not the problem. Mm. Give her more room to feel safe to tell you the problem because she will not open up to you and tell you what's really wrong. Yeah. If she can see your body language and your tone and your eyes is not going to take this problem, envelop it, make it mine, solve it together. She'll probably just keep it at a surface level. So the gift you can give her is your time and take this distance away. Okay. Thank you so much for that, Shazdan. Mm -hmm. How can I, <laughs> how can I get a good wife? and I have no money, who can help me? I am John. I, I, that is so beautiful. I love that. John, let me tell you one thing. Money has nothing to do with a good wife. Yes. Absolutely nothing. And I'll tell you something. You know, people say in today's day and age that people run around and, and women are all after money. It's, women are not after money. Even if you see the way women are built, you know, the, the most valuable part of them is right deep, deep inside them. And they pro everything protects that part of, of procreation just because that's how special it is. Women are not after money. Mm. What women are after is love, warmth, security. I'll give you an example. When we were getting married, do you know what my wife said to me? She's like, Mo, don't stress yourself about money. If we had to live on a beach, literally, in a hut or in a shack, and we could catch two fish a day, I'd be happy with that. And the fact of the matter is this, what women want more than anything is love, security, attention, to be filled inside. And you sound like such a good man, but you're looking at it up the wrong path. What they want is somebody good. Money, God will take care of. Mm. Money, when she comes into your house, God will take care of. You focus on being a gentleman and building your character and you will attract the right woman who's perfect for you or even better than you who will improve you. Like I got lucky. So, you know, just be there. Don't worry about the money. Money will follow later. I got goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I did, I did. Okay. Hi, Mikali. Um, they don't leave their name. Uh, what if you try to air your views or complain, but the, they see you have no right to talk because academically he's above you. He... He doesn't, he does things and doesn't involve you. Then so. first, you need to come watch my play, because I got you. Second, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, Shazmi. I, wa I was wondering, why does it sound, sound so, so familiar? familiar. <laughs> this is your role in the play. Yes. Okay, yes. Yeah, and cool. I'm telling you, honey, we win. But, <laughs> <laughs> this yeah, but is it's not about winning. Yeah, no, 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 no. no, yeah. no, no. But this is, this is what I would say, you know. It doesn't matter if someone's more academically higher than you or not. That might be his insecurity and his weakness. And mm. so he uses it to feel better about it. It doesn't mean you're lower. It doesn't mean you're mm. less than. Look at the most successful people in the world today. They were not schooled. They were not educated. 
you have to be able to voice and tell your spouse I'm talking to you I'm telling you what I need but don't do it in an aggressive way in a way that's going to irritate him also find how you do it and the secret I can give any woman listening today you want to tell a man how you feel do it from the center of your core your feminine essence which doesn't make you weak but will make you speak truth and strength and your partner will know there's a strength to these words that I should take seriously or they might be different consequences I don't want to deal with and there's also a softness with the way you say it that I need to also listen to so instead of coming at him come talk to him and say I want to do this together I want to let you know this is how I feel and I don't need a degree to tell you how I feel. That's we true. didn't need a degree when we got married. Nope. We didn't need a degree in this relationship. Mm -mm. We both have no degree. We didn't get schooled in the relationship of how to make this work. So we're both at zero and we're both going to grow. Now, I want to grow in this relationship. Do you? Because you seem like a very intellectual man. <laughs> so I suggest you come on my boat okay. and I can take us somewhere and I'd love for you to be on that with wow. me. Wow, I felt the strength. Mm. Mm -hmm. I did. <laughs> and ju and just to add to that, yeah. he might be academically higher, no problem mm. about that. Yes. Then why doesn't he use his intelligence to actually understand you? Mm. Secondly, emotionally, mentally, sexually, we are all equal. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. There's no degree or university that, that. adds value to that. Mm. So emotionally, you're an equal. So make sure he understands that and communicate at that level. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Morning, Mikali. Ask Shaz and Mo, how can you fight clean with an arrogant person? You, hoo, hoo, hoo. me, squeezy, namwangalia too. Cause anytime I raise an issue, like why he's wasting money with Pombe, and Asema, it's his cash. I feel so bad to imagine he is not mature of how, on how to solve things. Okay. So, so, so this is what I would say to you. Um, think about it. Was it a complete marketing program when he was dating you? Because that's what it must have been. Mm -hmm. Because if it's his cash, then they're your ovaries. Uh, it, the, the, you know, it's, it's very, very simple. Okay. <laughs> with, with all due respect. And anybody who's dealing with you like that and trading with you in a relationship mm -hmm. like that, I'm going to say something to you, ma'am. That's not a healthy relationship. What you need to do is make a decision. And the best thing to do is take a little time out. Step aside from that man, get a thought, get a feeling, see the changes he has made, and which is the real him. If his true essence was there when he was dating you, then there might be something to work with. But if that was just a marketing program and this is his true essence, which is mean, harsh, to be difficult with you and be controlling and everything else, uh, then you, make, you need to make a decision because it could get worse. And my suggestion to you is, be very sane about this. Get a very good friend that you trust. Involve them in it. Or even DM Sean and, and, and get a feeling from there. But you need to make a decision. But a chat needs to be had with this gentleman mm. and to tell him that, look, this is where it's unfair and I'm not ready to go through in my life with these kind of circumstances. This is what needs to change and these are my expectations and visions. If he's not willing to fall in line with that or come close to it, there's a decision to be made there. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> and I think that actually goes... For a lot of people mm -hmm. that want to say right now, you know, my relationship is like this. I try to talk to him. He doesn't listen. He ignores me. I think the biggest thing for anyone out there is to be able to recognize how far is this relationship going to go? Mm -hmm. Is this relationship worth the fight? Because when Mo and I look at each other, they could have been, we could have quit every single year if given the chance. But it makes a very big difference when two people are committed to make something work two people will make this environment safe enough for that fight to happen and for both of you to know we still stay here we never leave we never exit and so anyone right now that's feeling but you know he doesn't listen i can't get there at some point you have to recognize what's your growth mm. Mm. how far do you want to grow in life and mm. does this relationship have the elasticity for the two of you to grow or is this relationship going to keep holding you back? And they're tough decisions sometimes you have to think through and make. Okay. My, your cash, my ovaries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold back. Yes, that's what's... If he wants to trade, 
Let's trade. You can't lose. Let's trade. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Wikali. My husband always tends to say Ninam Kashifu or I'm attacking him every time I give him my raw opinion about something. It kills me, makes me want to be fake sometimes. That is Daisy from Mombasa, not to call it out like it is, to just be like... Okay. So I, I, I see this in a lot of my friends mm. and, and a lot of... Okay. So, ma'am, the best advice I would give you is this. It's not the problem. Mm. Sometimes it's the communication or the timing mm. or how to do it. That's why going on date now is very important. Because what happens is, if you don't spend quality time to address the marriage, just like an institution spends quality board meetings to, to, to chart the, the, the future, plan it, execute it, and all that. If you have date nights, there are many beautiful date nights where you'll talk about the past, where you'll talk about the future. There are date nights where you'll solve problems from the past. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll solve and you'll make rules of engagement for the future. My suggestion to you, ma'am, is short and simple. Sit down with him one day in a nice, beautiful environment and ask him, look, this is how I talk to you. How would you like to be mm. talked to? And he will tell you, you know, you talk to me like this, you nag me. You talk to me like this, you say this. I don't like it. It hurts me. So I miss the message and I focus on the tone. Ah. So listen to what he mm. says and then talk to him in his value system. And you'll see, you'll, you'll, be, very, you'll, you'll be much more effective. Find your fight language. Okay. Find your fight comeback. You know, a lot of the times you fight, find, okay, I can see on my spouse's face, am I getting through to them or mm -hmm. not? If I'm not, I have the power to take this back and change it. Because what I want to say is so important, mm -hmm. I want them to listen to it. So I think women, you have a beautiful power, mm -hmm. a playful power. And I think relationships, marriages have got so serious. Mm. We're such grown-ups, we're such adults, we're such parents. Yeah. You have to find time to play. You have to find time to be silly. You have to find time to laugh because that diffuses so much tension yeah. that the external world is already bringing into your relationship. Oh, indeed. And make it an egg. Nothing comes between us. Nothing mm. penetrates our energy. And if something is, I'm there to back you and you're there to back me. This 50-50 is not always going to work. And I'm mm. telling you, sometimes he's got a hectic three weeks. And it's not that he's slipping. It's not that he doesn't care. It's not that he's putting in effort. It just means I have the privilege to hold 80% of this relationship right now. And when things settle, we'll find our dance again. Mm. But this whole, you're not, I am, I'm ready to give up, you know, you should. Yeah. It's not you should, I should. It's what's best for us. Who can carry the weight and when? That's okay. Ladies and gentlemen, my gift from God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one final question before I guess I'll let you guys go. Done. Hello, Mikali. My wife and I have been in a relationship for seven years. Um, now, earlier things were okay, but lately for almost six months now, she goes silent for weeks and she's mostly angry, angry <laughs> with me for reasons I don't know. During these times of silence, I can't even touch her. I've tried talking, uh, talking to her, but she changes for at most two days two then we are back now i mostly feel I, I can see you guys from the from the corner of my eye 30 seconds to go okay now i mostly feel alone and it's tiring and by the way those six months are at zero percent intimacy what could be the problem here so have you guys decided who goes first? Okay, yeah, I'm go. going for, first. for 20 okay. seconds and 20 go. seconds okay, okay. <laughs> it's very simple there's a lot underlining and she's not allowing you in to a point where she's not allowing you in now with a physical barrier, okay? What you need to do, my, my dear sir, is very simple, okay? She needs to feel special. She needs to feel loved. She feels to be nourished. She needs to be feel looked after, okay? What you need to do is throw the kids aside, throw the mother-in-laws, throw everyone aside. Take her to Naivasha for a retreat or something, okay? Go to a spot, make her feel really, really special, okay? <laughs> and guess what you do to her? Find a way to get back inside her and build that trust and warmth. Okay. And when you rekindle the Jiko inside, guess what you're going to get? That opening. Listen to all the problems. <laughs> and once they're solved, and listen attentively and carefully, mm. yes. she will come back to normal slowly. Great. Shazmin, 
quickly. 20 this seconds. This is what I'd say. When you have a wound and you put a feather to the wound, she's going to jump and scream. Mm. This is what she needs. Whatever effort you're going to make, you need a wider breath. Because until she can trust you, until she'll test you, until she sees this is safe, then she will open up to you. Women close mm -hmm. when they're not hurt, when they don't feel safe, and they don't feel secure in a relationship. Great. You Jasmine. put in that effort, you make it work, and you hit me in my DM, I'll help you. <laughs> <laughs> what is your handle? Shazmin Bank on Instagram, on Twitter, it's at Bank Shazmin, and... Okay, we're doing yes. terrible. I, I just have car and door handles, but we use her. Okay, great. Yeah. We're going to take a very quick commercial break. We'll be right back.